Hi, it's me again with Corroda All Tips and Tricks. I've already done this for somebody. They wanted to know how, and I did it two different ways, and you can see the difference here. Um, so the first way I'm going to do it is going to be better. And, well, you can you can play around with that, too. Uh, they want 52 in a circle, 52 even. So I, I'm not going to care about the size of the circle. I'm going to hit P. I've already got my indexing line. And then I'm going to take a two-point line and hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to do a little bit different this time. I'm going to use the uh, Docker Rotate, Transform and Rotate. So we need to find out. So I'm going to get out a calculator. And I'm going to type in 360 divided by 52 is that number. I am going to steal those numbers and cut and paste it copy it, and I am going to click on my item and then delete those numbers and paste that number. Now, I need 52, but I'm using a single line for both, so I really just need 26, and I've already got one, so I'm going to go 25 and just see what happens. Ah, I, I made a copy of the, I, I connected the line. There we go. So there's our 52 lines, and then all you'd have to do is take another ellipse, smaller and hit P. Uh, I think they're gonna fill in this. You know, that doesn't look right. Well, it's an optical illusion. Some of them look bigger than the other one. Just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And if you wanna delete them, hold down your Alt key and just draw a circle around there with your alt key and you've deleted them. But if you were going to fill in that, now I did this the first time and mine isn't perfectly round, but I just did a video. So I thought I'd kind of bring that on and you could fix it. I'm going to draw a polygon. I'm going to make it 52 sided. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to take my shape tool. I've already got my indexing lines. I'm going to go from the center outward or inward till I get to that center. And now you can see my little hoop hole right there, but it drew those lines that quick. So there is a way around that. We can draw another ellipse and hit P. Hold down the shift key and make it a little bit bigger. Control D and make a duplicate holding down the shift key and make it that size. And then you can take your virtual segment delete key and do what we did before. And now this is going to be a little bit harder, but that's what I was saying. If they're going to color in the, um, and this is the best way to do this because you want to get rid of the lines, just not make them go away or go away, but make sure they're gone. And then if you would take your smart fill tool and fill in those spots, those 52 spots and just go all the way. And you could do this also. You know what? Let's just do that. Instead of spending the time to rotate uh, around that corner. Now that I've got these grouped together, I can hit all those and delete them. So we could do the same thing. Control D. Uh, this time we need 51, but we need to put it in the center. So we're going to save a little time of duplication. Sometimes it doesn't look like it is. And if I, sometimes if I get like that, then I'll go back. And then I'll do that same uh, scenario and we've got them. Now, this is what I said about having that group together. We can take that line now, it's all grouped together and delete that. And then if we want to look to make sure that's there, there are there. But if they wanted the smart fill tool segments anyway tell you what let's take this and now add an outline to our smart field and we have that right there and see i've gotten rid of that that bumpy uh, top from the first one because because it was a polygon so there's two ways to do that anyway i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching